Welcome Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Ranger Reject Chapter 58. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And I am just a very stressed out an exhausted woman and somewhere around here a bus budget KV operation struggling to keep a roof above our heads and praying to the anime and manga gods that next month me and Kitty aren't going to be homeless and sleeping on the street. Unfortunately, that is my reality. But if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our Cash Up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, oh my god, this manga just keeps getting better and better. It's such an underrated series. So we found out, yes, Green Dragon Keeper was killed by this mofo, by this executive. And the executive Oh, the executive is a little shit. He took the form of um of Green Dragon Keeper. Magadia took the form of Green Dragon Keeper and is fighting and he's fighting Hisui. And he has the divine tool. This is this is wild. Oh God. Oh God. Anyways, let's get to this chapter. See what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled a dreamy school life part four. God, this art is great. This entire room's under my control. How long do you think you can hold out for? Damn, he's sweet. Wow, I've never uh, seen you use your divine tool before. Won't you give yourself a stomachache eating all of that? Shut up, Magadia. Don't you dare say another word with that mouth. Ranger Bokaba took his duties seriously. He went above and beyond. He had a bright future ahead of him. So it's my duty to take him back. Yes! Look at Heasley. She looks amazing. She looks like a bass bitch. She not fucking around. Talk about close. So you can eat things at range two? Um... Ukemoki uh, no Kami, was it? Thanks for the introduction. I return the favor, but you're already familiar with mine, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> this scene is only so action. Oh my god. So, before I get into this, I gotta wonder. So, after all this is said and done, does this mean Hisui is going to be like the new green dragon keep wait a minute why if green dragon keeper has been dead this entire time why hasn't anyone replaced him why hasn't he so been like promoted and does red know red has to know Something sus. Something very sus. Because Red knew about Blue's death. Remember. Remember that flashback with Blue. Red knew about that death. Did Green find... Oh, Green must have found out something that he wasn't supposed to find out. I'm telling you. Red is doing shady shit. Because remember, Red... Remember, we knew that Red was doing shady. We know Red's doing shady shit anyway. But we knew um, that Red sent uh, um, an executive. We knew Red had to have sent, uh, I think it was Patrola, right? Yeah, he sent Patrola to basically kill Blue. He did. And now, and now Green has been killed? Green must have Green must have gotten too close to the truth of something. Something sus about all this. 
Hmm. Very curious what you guys think. Okuni, um, Nushi no Kami, you know exactly how strong this divine tool is. Ooh. God, Neki. I love this art so much. I know all about it. This was second class um, Takiwa's divine tool, and she was the closest person to becoming the next spring keeper. <gasps> Dude! Hmm, the next green? I would have thought that'd be you, Canon, with you, uh, with how you skipped up the uh, ranks to JFC. Uh, that's not what everyone else thinks. So let's sell it here and now. I'm going to be the next green keeper. Sure, don't blame me if I don't live up to your expectations. So that's Green Battalion 2nd Class, uh, Kanadi to um, Takiwa. Dude, she looked gorgeous. I feel bad for her. In hindsight, it was all a big joke. 2nd Class, next Green Keeper, she was strong because she, because she had this divine tool. Anybody could have done it. Hey, what? What the hell is this? Your divine tool is totally cheating. <laughs> I didn't lose, you hear? I didn't lose, you hear me? Your divine tools just busted. <laughs> Second class, don't make me laugh. She owed it all to her divine tool. Shut up! Woo! Two. Listening to you makes me want to puke. I thought I told you not to say another word. You little... Not good. Get me, sweet! My walls, they won't make it in time. Ha! Here I was thinking I had a shot. Time to call it a day, Junior First Class Hisui. You're breaking school. <clears throat> Meals are supposed to be a good time for everybody, so shut up and eat. Yeah! I don't get it, Hisui! <gasps> Hisui, you can't kill the principal. That's breaking school rules. What? God! Damn that woman! No! Phew, that was a close one. I'm glad I stationed students around just in case. Divine tools, huh? What fun. You okay, Junior First Class uh, Hisui? Looks like it didn't work out, huh? It's the executive. It's disguising itself as a ranger. Obviously, it's against school rules, but I fought it. Almost finished it off, too, before I got reset. Shit, just a little longer and I would have gotten it. Oh, got a headache, Hisui? Um, want us to take you to the infirmary? Get away from me! Huh? He's sweet. You can't hit your friends like that. You're breaking school rules. What's wrong? That wasn't like you. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna go cool off for a bit. Where's Junior First Class Hisui? Looks like she's late. I went to check out the principal's office, but the door was locked shut. He's probably wary of us. At no shit, they're wary of you now. No shit. I wanted to ask her to tell us more about him, but, well, we could look into it ourselves, but I'm not sure we get far. Yeah, these school rules are really stifling us. Just, damn, I'm sick of this. Huh? Whoa, ah, uh, crap. Hey, don't be like that. It's not very nice to go around kicking things. Not good. Even I know enough to um, know that I totally just broke school rules. Huh? You didn't get reset. Hey, you think that means the school wants us to kick the shit out of this vending machine? <laughs> yeah, no. When you kicked it, there was nobody around to see. So when it comes to misdeeds, it's out of sight, out of mind, huh? I suppose that's school for you. What are you doing? I'm working in the shadows where nobody can see is part of my job. Time for me to show up what an information broker's trusty tools can do. Uh-oh. Nabiki Sakuraba from second year class one. Please come to the staff room at once. Would you look at that? Looks like they figured out that we're on to them. I'll keep investigating. Um, I'll keep the investigation going on my own. It's all you, kid. Hmm? I kind of can't be bothered. Dude, I wonder if they know. If they know that that's, um, that uh, Sakuraba is really a foot soldier, that'll be very interesting. I don't really give a damn about what happens to the Earthlings trapped here. I just want to fight the executive already. Hmm? Junior First Class Hisui? I heard the announcement. What do you do this time? I'm not sure. I'm just playing along with what they want for now. Yeah, be careful then. Will do. I thought she'd come with me. Excuse me? You came alone? That was brave of you. Was it you who called for me, Mr. Gato? Sakurama, are you fitting in at school? 
Fuck! But this... Hmm. I'm really curious. Do you think they know he's a foot soldier? That's the one thing I'm curious about. If Megadia senses some... Megadia, it would be interesting if Megadia sensed it. Petrola didn't know. Because this disguise is good. So, it's just interesting that they didn't know. Like, Petrola didn't know. Magadi would be interesting if he knew. Hmm. The only reason why I would say Magadi could know, um, compared to, like, say, Petrola, is Magadi is, has gotten a lot of power. Um, I would say that, like, obviously taking possession of Green has gotten him a lot of power, obviously. But with every student that comes into the school and falls under his possession, like, you know, that he's spirited away, oh, you gotta believe, he's probably gained more power doing that with each student. So you gotta wonder if Magadia has sensed it, sensed that, you know... Sakurama is really um, a duster, a foot soldier. That'd be very interesting. I hope Neki kind of explores that. But, again, I have to point this out, as I said earlier, that's just something that's very, very suspicious, and I really hope it gets explored, is what's going on with Red in regards to Magadia. Because Red has to know something. Red was the one... Remember what... It was back in Xion's flashback in particular. When Blue was killed... Uh, when Blue was killed, Red was being a fucking prick. Red... And also, Red kind of handpicked who was going to be the next Blue. Let's be goddamn real. Something went down. Something went down. I'm still thinking that that dragon, I don't think the dragon executive is dead. I don't. I think that dragon, that mini dragon that, you know, has given them their powers. I think that dragon is an executive. Or a former executive. It's gotta be, that's something. Something just very sus about the dragon. It just, oh my god, wouldn't, just, wouldn't that be interesting? But like, remember, remember the whole thing at the very beginning that um, was said that Red made a deal with the executives, right? Just something tells me that, and this is, again, why um, shit has gone down the way it has, is Blue got way too close to the truth, and same with Green. Either that, or Blue didn't give a shit about how things got done, because he, he did things on his own, as we saw in that flashback. So he didn't give a shit about, like, um, doing things that the Rangers wanted to do. He just did his own thing, and Red did not like that. So there's that, or there, because he, Blue had his own version of justice. So there is that aspect, and Red just was not having it. Or, as I was saying, Blue got too close to the truth, and Red was not feeling that shit. But then there's also Green. Remember with Green Battalion that we have seen so far, Green knows way more than the rest. Green knows that the exact... I don't know if the other Dragon Keepers know if the... Um, the rest of the, ex uh, the executives that are still alive. I don't know. They, they got it. They got to know that the rest of the executives are still alive. To an ex they have to. If they don't, then I'll be, I'll be kind of shocked. But just something, there's something going on. Because why would Green 
be killed like this. Brad has, Brad had, that, that contract, this is, I think I said this at the beginning when we started covering this, this has got, this is some promise Neverland realness going on in terms of this contract, this agreement, we got to find out what that is and this, and everything that went on prior to that, like what led to this agreement, because that's what this is kind of giving me. It's really giving me kind of some promise, never like a realness. It is. Hmm. It'll be very, very interesting to see what the contract was, the agreement really was between Red and these executives that are still alive anyway. But Green must have found out something. Green had to have found out something. And he got too close to the truth, and Red was not happy about that. Because Red is hiding, Red is definitely hiding something from the rest of them. He totally is. I'm very curious what you guys think. What do you guys think in regards to this? What do you guys think about now? This is like the um, the second Dragon Keeper that we've seen get killed by an executive, and in this case, taken over by an executive just something very and as i said as i said remember with blue we saw right on the scene for that one green we don't know we don't know how what well, or we don't know to an extent how that happened we don't know the events leading up to it either just something really really sus about this whole thing very curious what you guys think about this i really i really am and i gotta tell you i love what negi's doing with this this is just such an interesting manga it really makes you think doesn't it i felt like the overall conspiracy i know <laughs> it's so interesting i love it so much let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think and what do you guys think is going to go down in the staff room do you guys think it's because they know um uh sakurama is d do you think um do you think uh, in that case it's uh magadia yeah magadia because he has so much more energy compared to um Petrola that he's able to sense that um sakurama is, a, uh, is really d i'm really curious what you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerd again sync love what we're doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more uh ranger reject content a few ways you can do that donate to our cash app paypal patreon purchase something off our amazon wishlist all that's in the description box below also make sure you follow us on twitter twitch uh discord friend us on playstation network that's in the description box below um as well till next time nerd i will be seeing you later bye